Hi, this is Paul Tannehill, e-learning systems administrator at Lynn Benton Community College. I'm responding to a lot of questions from instructors regarding the digital Dropbox and Blackboard and some of the challenges with that tool. Another way to deploy assignments is the view complete assignment method. I'm logged into my resource site right now as instructor and I want to put this in the assignments area. You can put this into any content area. You click on edit view and over here on the right there are some tools that you may or may not know about. A little drop down here shows all of them and I'm going to use the assignment. Click on go. Let's say I want to call this the week one reading assignment. Let's say I want to make this worth 10 points. Let's say I want the students to read chapters one and two and Respond via the Word doc. I'm going to browse for that Word doc. I want to name the link so it's kind of evident what they're doing. I'm going to call this, the link itself will be download Word doc. I'll leave the section three availability options at the default for right now, but I could make it unavailable and have it only display within certain time restrictions if I wanted to. And I'll click Submit. This is automatically being put into my gradebook now. Click OK there. This is how it looks to me. This is roughly how it looks to the students. Okay, I'm going to Student View now. And I'm logged in as a student. I'm looking at my Assignments button in my menu area and I see I've got an assignment to do. Week 1 reading assignment, read chapters 1 and 2 and respond via the Word doc. I go into the link, view complete assignment, and at this point I can download the Word document. I've already done that and I have responded to it. You'll see here in a minute. Let's just say again as a student I'm going to give a comment to the instructor. I wasn't sure about question number two, so I guessed. I'm sure you've heard worse than that. And I'll choose my file to submit. At this point, students oftentimes click save and think they're good to go, but they need to really submit. I click the submit button. If they happen to click save, that saved it on their end, but you can't see it yet. So oftentimes they assume they're good to go on the assignment, but they haven't really submitted it to you yet. If that happens, they can just go back into the assignment and click Submit. Now it's submitted to my instructor's gradebook, and I'm good to go as a student. Let me go back to Instructor View now, and I'll move into my gradebook. in my gradebook now and I'll scroll over to the right where their most recent assignment will show up. Of course you'll notice that you no longer can see the student names over here. That's just a virtue of the version of Blackboard we're currently on right now. The next version will take care of that. Anyway you'll see the, the different rows here and if I hover over these little marks here you can see that the tooltip will show the student that I'm needing to look at. And here's mine of course. You'll also see kind of a not so evident little exclamation point I need to click on to go into this assignment. Now before I in input a manual grade, I need to view it of course. And I'll see their comment to me. I wasn't sure about question number two, so I guessed. At this point I can click on this link and that will download the Word doc. I've already got it prepared for this presentation, and here it is. Their answer to question one, he had always dreamed about being an extra on TV show and his opportunity came, he went for it. That's correct. What time did the store close? Nope, it was 6.30, sorry. The poodle suffered traumatic seizures and collapsed on the curb. Looks good to me. They're a little bit uh, incorrect answer number two though, so I'm going to say they get uh, eight points out of ten. I might make a comment about the store closing at 6.30.
PM. If I need to send them back any kind of document, I can browse for that and send it to them. If I need to make a note to myself regarding this uh, various assignment or this uh, particular student, I can do that here. Another browse feature for another file to myself again. This instructor notes, of course, just stays to me. And I'll click Submit. And OK. You'll see my grades entered in now, and I click Submit, and it's in the gradebook after all these extra OK buttons. Now when I scroll over again, there is the grade. Now I'll go back to Student View. And since my instructor has kindly deployed a My Grades button, I can click on that, and I can see that my grade for the Week 1 reading assignment was 8 points. Cool. Good to go.